In this tutorial we're going to look at the graphics and sound page. Obviously the page title and page text but also a line in the text, the image size, uploading the image and adding an image tooltip. We'll also look at the optional properties so adding a magnifier, adding narration and adding a sound file as well. This is Quick and Dirty Zerty. In a previous tutorial we created a learning object with an example of each of the five um, text pages. So now we're going to have a look at the page types available under the media um, menu. Um, and the first one is the graphics and sound page. As usual we see a preview and a short summary of that page. So we're just going to go ahead and um, add the graphics and sound page. Um, we get prompted for a page title, so we'll call that Media, Graphics and Sound. And to save a bit of time, I'm going to copy and paste the text. Um, we'll leave the alignment option to left, but we can see that we've got right, top, bottom. And also the image size, we'll leave that at auto for the moment, but we have an option to select that to be full screen. So now we can go ahead and browse and select an image. Um, we use that same assets folder and go to go ahead and select one of the images and it's quickly uploaded to the server. Now it's important for accessibility purposes to add um, a tooltip which will appear when we hover over the image. So I'm just going to again paste some text in there and if we click play now we'll see that we've got our title page we can navigate direct to the media graphics and sound by selecting that um, so here we see our page title text in the page and an image that's been resized and as we hover over the image we see the tooltip appearing okay as described previously when we're working on a page it's worth selecting it in the tree and moving it to the top so that it's the first page that we see. Um, so that's our kind of default properties. We've added an image, we've added a tooltip. We can also add some optional properties. And the first one here is a magnifier. So we're just going to go ahead and add the magnifier and tick the box to say, yes, we want the magnifier to be shown on screen. And before we preview that, we'll have a look at what the other optional properties here. So we have one for narration. Uh, we select narration, select add, and we're prompted to browse for a file which will be our pre-recorded narration. So I'm going to browse that file and it needs to be in MP3 format. So again, I'm going to select that and it's uploaded to the server. Depending on the length of the um, narration, it could obviously take a a little longer than a than a small image. Okay, the final option is sound. Now you might think, um, how does that differ from narration? It doesn't in terms of the file format that it takes, but it does in terms of the position of the controller on the screen. So we'll just select sound, select add and browse to, in this case, a different MP3 file. Um, we'll select this one here and select open okay our files are now uploaded we added the optional property of magnifier narration and sound so if we play our learning object we can see that we have um, an audio controller top left of the screen which is where the narration appears so if we just press play this page is used to show text and graphics and optionally provide a sound for the user to listen to as well. So we can see how that works. Um, the bottom of the image, and we can also see we have our magnifier here, which in this instance isn't particularly useful, but this might be a, um, an image of a map where you can see the detail via the magnifier or perhaps a, 
an image of health and safety issues where you roll over the image and see the different um, detail. I'm sure you can think of examples where that could be useful. And if we select the bottom audio controller here, you can see that that, um, or hear that that plays just an audio soundtrack. Um, or music soundtrack to go with our image but it could also be um, an alternative uh, narration file or perhaps some instructions that describe the content of the image um, and so on you might want to explore for yourself the effect that the different alignment options have as well as um, the image size the difference between auto and full screen In this screencast we looked at the graphics and sound page, obviously the page title and page text, also a line in the text, options to change the layout, image size, we could choose auto or full screen. The image can be JPEG, a .gif, a PNG or a SWIFT file. And we looked at the importance of adding a tooltip for accessibility. We also looked at the optional properties, the magnifier can be useful to show more detail, narration that appears top left below the page title and the sound optional property usually appears below an image or navigator panel. I'm Ron Mitchell. This was Quick and Dirty Zerty.